two, one, welcome in. So first off, uh, so I've used you know numerous resources in order to come up with this video. So one of the key resources I'll point out here on the screen for you, okay? And I will put all the resources, okay, and references, citations down below in the description. So please do uh, click on it uh, so that you can learn a lot more if you wanted to. So this video is about magnetic fields. Now, magnetic fields are very closely tied to this general concept of vector fields, and in particular with regards to force fields that you have. I've done a video with regards to the introduction to this, and I believe that anybody who's studying, okay, so at some point in grade 11 or maybe introductory physics, should understand these vector fields. I'll put up a link up above there, and I will assume that you have kind of that knowledge before you're jumping in into a video of this nature. So magnetic fields come from the kind of idea behind magnets. And you know, if you are on introductory physics side, you have seen magnets at some point or another. Now those magnets, okay, if you take two magnets together, so you'll notice that sometimes they'll repel and sometimes they might attract. So therefore, magnets, as we like to designate with this color of red and blue, as I have pointed out here, okay, so kind of in two forms. So here is, you know, a magnet, which is red and blue, by, all no, by no means are they red and blue. We just kind of paint them that way so that we have this concept and understanding of magnets in general, right? And then here, so even with regards to a compass, so which I kind of drew out in here, Okay, so you have this compass which aligns with magnetic fields, all right? So what are they, okay? And what are these kind of magnets that we have? So magnets in general come kind of in this concept with regards to two poles. So they have a, a north pole and they also have a south pole. Now, these two north and south poles, okay, come up on all kind of magnets that we have and those particular magnets will create a force around them for other magnets to either be attracted or repelled in certain directions or align within the actual magnetic field itself. So now when you're thinking of the magnetic field, I would want you to think of it this way. So the magnetic field is basically in three dimensions. So it is all around the magnet. That's the first thing. And it is okay, a three-dimensional force field, which means that it does create forces around the magnet. Now, it is created by a magnet itself, which provides information about how a magnetic object would experience a force when placed within the field. So if you're look if you're just reading this, you might say, hmm, okay, well, I have some concept of these force fields right? So how exactly do they look like? One of the actual force fields, of course, is the gravitational force field, where, you know, we draw the lines of gravity, but they're just imaginary, although we know that any mass, which is, for example, near the Earth's surface, we will know that it's going to actually follow the actual gravitational field lines towards the Earth. Well, magnets have these, these actual, not gravitational lines, but magnetic field lines in terms of the forces. And if you place a magnet around it, it's going to align itself in such a way, or possibly if it's close enough, will start to get attracted in a particular way to either the North or the South Poles, depending on how that magnet okay, is. So it is pretty neat to be able to see and observe this in nature. It's pretty much analogous to the fact of thinking about protons and electrons or positive and negative charges. And with regards to those, if you haven't run into them, okay, I can put up a link as well with regards to the electric fields, okay, and the lines that are created there when you start talking about electric charges, which a lot of people also know, but the actual magnet itself is very closely related. And as you're going to be learning and getting into electricity and magnetism, you should run into both electric fields and magnetic fields, and then the relationship between them that you have. So with this idea of these magnetic fields, so the things that I would want you to know is, or are the following. The magnetic field itself 
Okay, so what happens is, first of all, it points from the North Pole to the South Pole on the outside of the magnet. It points from the South Pole to the North Pole inside of the magnet. The actual fields themselves never cross when we draw them. Okay, so that's what you will notice. And they get closer together, okay, where the actual magnetic field is stronger. So when you're very close to the poles, it's going to be an extremely strong. Okay, and as you get further from the poles, okay, it's going to get weaker. So that's what you will have. Now, one of the very neat things is, and an example of magnets is that our Earth has a magnetic field all the way around it. And we can, okay, through the creation of a compass, be able to see how a compass aligns with those magnetic fields. So let's take a look how these magnetic fields actually structure themselves. First, I'm going to draw an example, and then I'm going to try to show you a simulation. So within here, so if I take this entire thing, so I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller within here just so that I can sh show you how these fields look like. So the fields, okay, as this points out, point from the north to the south. So what exactly does that mean? Well, so here is a line, okay, and I'm going to kind of draw it out. So basically, so there are lines which are going to okay, go in this way. So this is one magnetic line where it goes in and the direction of it, okay, so we can draw the lines, are going to be in that direction. And now you have these actual lines which are going to be pointing out a little bit further, okay, as you're going in, okay, and get closer in here. So that is pointing from the north to the south. And this happens all the way around. Now, of course, these are imaginary. However, they show us the directions and what would happen, okay, within here, if you had a magnet nearby. So for instance, if I would take this compass in here, now I'm going to make it very small, okay, so within, but hopefully you can still see it. So if I take this compass and start moving it around, it's going to align itself with the actual magnetic field lines, okay, as you're going through. So the magnetic field line, so if you notice in here, I drew the red, so this is the North Pole, okay, and the blue, which is the South Pole of that actual, let's say, magnet, okay, like a compass that you have, and it would start aligning itself. So within here, so if you were very close to here, so what would happen is it would align, okay, and it would align in this direction. The actual, so notice it tries to align the North with the South, right, because of the fact that you have the poles of magnets when they are unlike they attract each other okay and when they are like they repel each other so therefore you know if you try okay and do this right here and try to even bring it close because you have a north and a north pole then these will try to repel each other and if you left it and this is what happens in the compass where it's on a pin well, then the torque, because it pushes it away, it's going to kind of move it and align it exactly with field lines. And no matter where you go, so if you put it in here, again, it's going to align itself with field lines. If it's over here, okay, and again, it's going to align itself field lines. If it's over here, it's going to align itself field lines. And it will always point the north towards the south. That's what will happen. Now, inside of the magnet, okay, so if you would put this, now if it was possible to do that, to be able to measure this through, so here it actually goes in the opposite direction, okay, so as you're going through in here, well, it aligns, okay, from the south to the north, so it would have been pointing in this direction, so it gets shot out that way. Now, let's see this in action in a much more beautiful simulation, which have been done, okay, within here by kind of the PHET simulation lab, okay, as you see here on the screen. So notice that I have a magnet in here. Now I'm going to take this magnet and I can move this magnet around and notice that there's, there are little compasses which are really kind of simulating the magnetic field lines and how they would point. 
So notice that all the way around as I move this, the actual magnetic field lines point. And inside of the magnet, notice it goes from the south to the north. So notice the red is going to be pointing in towards the north. And now notice if I take the compass in here and I start moving it around, it starts to align exactly with the magnetic field lines. So notice it just kind of switches over, right? And it starts to align itself. Okay, so perfectly. So here's I'm touching it over here and I try to touch it over there. Okay, I try to move it now. Now it's kind of got stuck in there. Okay, so there you go. So it beautifully now captures. And notice they fade these away so you don't see them as further. So all that means is that the actual magnetic forces that you have in there get weaker and weaker as you get further and further away from the magnet. And as you get closer and closer, they get stronger and stronger. So that's what you have within here. Now, what's really cool and something that you should be aware of is the fact that indeed the earth itself, so here's the earth, okay, notice they put in the earth and then they put a magnet inside of there. You, 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 you can actually kind of see it within. So you know that, you know, our North Pole and our South Pole that we have, we can utilize a compass. That compass actually uses the Earth's magnetic field, which is all around it and also inside of it. And in here, so notice as the compass points out, okay, so as you're going through, okay, so here we're going in the north direction, right? The compass is pointing north. But the reality in here is that in what we have done, the North Pole is actually the magnetic South Pole. And you can see the magnet inside of this, okay, inside of this Earth so that it shows that. And therefore, the South Pole is actually the magnetic North Pole. Because remember that the North, so the magnet, the attraction of the North Pole gets attracted to the South Pole. And yet, notice that it is pointing, right? So the red component is pointing towards the North which is really the magnetic south. So that's something that a lot of people may not necessarily know. Now, you know, if you don't know kind of magnetic fields, it's not a big deal, whatever. North is north, south is south, that's fine. But we have actually flipped it with regards to the magnetic north and south. So I encourage you, you know, to go on this simulation. Again, I will put up the link down in the description because I think it's super neat. Now, another really neat thing to be able to see is that if you do have a magnet and you take that magnet and then you have these kind of small little sprinklings or filings, in particular, most of the time we use iron. And so because iron has that magnetic property, okay, and we sprinkle these things around the magnet, they will actually align themselves and show you how the magnetic field aligns. So what I have done, so within here, so I did just a regular, you know, Google search in here and I put magnet image with iron filings. And these are amazing, right, to be able to see. So notice you have all of these different filings that you have and magnets. So let me actually click on one of them in here. Okay, so this one is kind of from Shutterstock. I guess they, they provide you these things. So you have, they have various magnets. Notice they utilize blue and red, okay, within here. But what's really neat is to be able to see that these iron filings just line up when create these lines, which are the magnetic lines that you have. Now, all of these little magnets, okay, so all of these little iron filings, they're like little compasses that just keep realigning themselves, okay, depending on how you have these. So here's one magnet, you know, here's another magnet. This is really cool to be able to see, and it was actually exactly what I was drawing. So that's what these magnetic field um, fields okay, are that we have. And what I would want you to know as you are kind of studying and thinking about these, right? These are imaginary, but they're not imaginary for magnets, okay? If you put a magnet anywhere near, okay, it will experience a force. Just like because we are on Earth, we experience the gravitational force, right? So clearly, it is all around the earth. So the earth has gravitational forces 
and it has magnetic forces as well, which we can actually figure out through utilizing a compass. Now, thank goodness, you know, we're not necessarily magnetic, but you maybe have seen in movies, you know, if you put on a magnetic suit, okay, you might get sucked in, okay, especially um, if you have some kind, okay, of iron or something like that. So, in order to summarize, okay, this particular feature of these magnetic fields, so please remember it's three-dimensional, so that means it's everywhere around the magnet. The magnet itself has north and south poles, which you Okay, um, have seen before. So if you're, you know, if you're taking physics, you have seen magnets. Now these particular force fields exist. Okay, if you have another magnet which is in the vicinity of this, the further you get, unfortunately, you know, the field gets lesser and lesser. And you can draw these lines yourself. Okay, as you are progressing through. So here is a nice summary from actually the resource that I've used. And it states kind of nice few features for you that you should highlight for yourself if you wanted to be able to know. So first, magnetic fields cause forces on other magnets. Okay, so that's the first thing. Magnetic fields are three-dimensional. That means they're everywhere around the magnet. Magnetic forces increase as magnet objects get closer. Okay, and they decrease when they get further away. So increasing as these things get closer and then decreasing when they get further away. The attraction between unlike poles, okay, and there is repulsion between like poles. So you have attraction between unlike poles and repulsion between like poles. This is the same thing, deja vu, you know, positive, negative charges attract each other, but if they're like charges, so negative and negative, they will repel each other. That's what you will see there as well. Now, the actual field lines point from north to south, as I mentioned, okay, inside, okay, they point south, okay, to north. They never cross each other, okay, so if you're drawing them out, you know, they can't actually cross one through the other. And then you have that the closer they are, the stronger the forces become, right? So this is a nice summary. So here's a source, but I also will point it out okay, in the description below. Okay, so that is your introduction to magnetic field lights. Happy studying, everybody. We'll see you soon.